to know, um, because you're, you, of your music background, how have you found that to be helpful with acting? I feel like it's mostly just open doors in a business sense. Because sometimes people will know me, or even the, the, the movie that I just did, it, there's a lot of musical numbers in it. So that was definitely a leg up for me. Um, they can kind of let me get out of the, the pack of thousands into the pack of hundreds. Um, but as far as performance goes, it's such a different thing um, that I don't really find as many similarities except for like the rhythm of things. I wish I could hear the rhythm of comedy. God. <laughs> oh my God, that. right? Oh, <laughs> multi other animal. They're, yeah, they're just like, you know, just listen to Friends or Seinfeld. There's a musicality to it, a rhythm to the comedic timing. And I'm like, where? <laughs> I mean, I can hear it, but I can't emulate it. So I actually just started watching Seinfeld during quarantine because now I have time to go through all of the seasons. I would like to get more into drama. Um, and I'd also like to start writing more. I've been writing my own scripts. Um, I think a lot of it has been COVID. I, I don't think I would have... I mean, I've been writing scripts even today and all week. I just sit down and kind of write out scenes. And that's definitely not something I had time for or wanted to do pre-COVID. So just because I'm sitting in my house and I'm not allowed to even go for a walk right now, um, I've just been writing a lot more. And I find that there's power in writing. It makes me feel not as helpless. Have you seen Happiest Season on Hulu? I have not. It's the new uh, Aubrey Plaza, Kristen Stewart holiday movie. Okay. Anyway, there's, you know, the big names in it. And uh, there's three sisters in the movie. Allison Brie is in it. But there's a third sister who I didn't quite know who she was, but she seemed familiar. And I, I just heard that she wrote the film and then cast herself in it. And it's just so wow. cool to hear people kind of just taking control of their own career. Because that's something that, as an actor, we don't really feel like we have as much of, you know. Is there a place that you would love to film at or, or go visit? Ireland. Ooh. Ireland. Why is that? Why Ireland? It feels so magical. And this is probably so stereotypical and people actually from Ireland will hate me, but... It's just so green. I actually feel like leprechauns really live there. <laughs> and um, and I, I'm the type of person who will just go all out wherever I go. Like when I went to Paris, I'll, I'll have a glass of wine every now and then in LA. But when I was in Paris, I was like, wine, 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 cheese, <laughs> wine, wine. And I feel like if I go to Ireland, I'll probably just drink all of the dark beers go on every green cliff and pretend I'm in Star Wars or Lord of the Rings and have an amazing time.